Good morning, Kingsley community. Pastor Colleen Wehrman here coming to you with another daily devotion for Monday morning. Uh, it's Monday. That's Tuesday. Monday. <laughs> March 13th, 2023. Got in the details. <clears throat> A quiet heart. Job 34, 29. When God gives quietness, who then can make trouble? One day in 1947, when Elizabeth Elliott was a student at Wheaton College, she was sitting near a friend at the piano in one of the campus buildings. Elizabeth had written a short poem and her friend composed a melody on the spot. Over time, the melody was lost, but years later, Elizabeth included the words in her book, Keep a Quiet Heart, which go like this from Elizabeth Elliott. Lord, give to me a quiet heart. That does not ask to understand, but confident steps forward but confident steps forward in the darkness guided by thy hand. So we understand so little. God's thoughts are far above ours as heaven is above the earth. But God knows the plans he has for us, and they are important. Sometimes we feel as though our life is insignificant, but all of us are part of God's sovereign design. Your life is important, and you can step confidently forward, knowing your Lord is already there. So another quote from Elizabeth Elliot. Quote, we are created to glorify God as long as we live on this planet and to enjoy, enjoy God for the rest of eternity. Our task is simply to trust and obey. <clears throat> so sometimes, you know, if you're a talker, me, type A personality, me. If you're like that, then you might have a hard time um, getting quiet and getting with God. So find a quiet time. It might be morning, might be evening, might be middle of the afternoon, might be late at night. Get along with God, journal in your journal, and uh, write your prayers out to God, and then just listen. And I know it's hard, but it's like, okay, let's just stop and listen to what God might have to say. Because sometimes we're ready to talk and respond. You know when you run into someone and you know they're not listening because <clears throat> you're telling them something and they're ready to react to it? So they either, one, cut you off, or two, they start talking and it has nothing to do with what you just said. Or, number three, they start talking about themselves. <laughs> that is not good listening skills. So <clears throat> when we went to seminary, we were had a class on listening skills and what that meant, what that looked like, active listening skills, head nodding, glancing, truly listening to what the person says, and even sometimes repeating, I hear you saying this, can I understand that this is what you're saying? Is this what you're, is this what you're talking about? You know, those kind of things. And I tell you what, someone who listens is <clears throat> few and far between in this world. Everybody's ready to attack, ready to, you know, give their viewpoint, push their agenda. Nobody's willing to listen. So if we're not willing to listen to each other, are we really listening to God? <laughs> That's my food for thought. I am late, so I need to go. But I will pray you out that we um, be better listeners, active listeners to each other and especially to God. Lord, thank you for reminding us to be still, be quiet, and listen for that small, still voice. Sometimes you don't come in the great big storm. Sometimes you don't come with thunder and lightning. Sometimes you come with a quiet, still voice. So if we're yapping and ready to react and ready to, you know, get our agenda through to you, we're not really listening. So, Spirit, help us to listen to your promptings. In the name of Christ, amen. All right, I gotta go. <clears throat> Hope you don't have a cold like I do. Uh, pop some vitamin C. I ran out. I have to go get more. All right, have a good day.